Hey, what's going on guys? XD here back again with another video and today we're going to be using Okay, say it. My bad. Today we're going to be using FL Studio 9.0 XXL. Yeah, so um this version of FL Studio has been out since 9 September 2019. That's when they released this version. So I'm back here and it's such a nostalgic feel, you know, like I haven't seen this version of FL Studio in ages. Like I'm nervous right now, but um, I, I'm going to try and make something nostalgic and see if I can find my way around this old version and, you know, figure out what is so different between, you know, the new, um, the new versions. Obviously, the right off the bat, I can tell that the look is different. This one kind of looks dated. It doesn't look as futuristic as the versions from 12 and, you know, going up. So now let's start with uh, with the sound. I'm going to add a channel. I'm going to add a citrus. I almost opened Slice X. Let's look for a nice pad that we can use in here. Uh, I'll just I'll just pick something random. Wow. That actually sounds pretty good. use that we go to main switch my tempo to 120 oh blocks I totally forgotten about blocks let me know if you're a fan of blocks down below and if you really miss them and you know let me know if they are the reason you also stuck in um, the old versions of FL studio I for one don't really miss them but um, I feel like they were really good they worked their purpose you know really good but I would I enjoy seeing what's inside my pattern so that I know what I'm clicking on and all that type of stuff but I know that you know at least down here you know you see if you're not gonna accidentally you know load stuff where you don't want to uh, drop it in because you know everything is locked down here in the blocks we load some metronome change that to a hi-hat Awesome. I remember this kid. I think they still have this kid. That's a nice percussion. Let me see if I can use that. Let me load another pattern. find a clap just to layer the other sound now if I'm not mistaken my favorite kick used to be the one in vintage the this one load that there okay let me add two more kicks right here around the third kick and just lower their velocity okay I'll just use this as a crash and I'll just drop it there and I also used to like this um, hi-hat too because it really has that house 909 vibe to it immediately as soon as you throw that hat on it already sounds like a house jam
notes already sounding so dope. Let me switch this out. Um, how do I do this? Okay. Okay, there we go. Switch that out. And then I'm going to add a baseline. Let me go on channels and load. Um, what am I loading? Okay, I'm going to load DX10. Sometimes it's the arrangement that confuses you. I'm gonna pick log drum. Where is Mr. Log Drum? Down here. Need to switch some things off. Let me let me switch off the kit and that tom again. Along, coming along, coming along. Okay, let's get a high one right there at the end of these of this bass line. Just like that. Drop another one there. Let me chop this one so it doesn't interfere with that one that's on top. Awesome, now let's bring back the kit. Okay, so remember where we put the, the three kicks over there? I think they're kind of clashing with the bass line, so I'm gonna move them to, to this area over here where the bass line is not playing so that they bounce over here. Okay, so I think that's the that's this kick over there that we now gonna give that bounce. Was it the first one? think that is working that's much better okay I think we need to move this Tom as well let's drop it somewhere
okay coming along coming along now let's add um, a nice sound that's gonna be kind of an arpeggio arpeggiating all over the place okay firstly I'll just add a normal arpeggio and then I'll add a nice melody that's just gonna be moving around <laughs> It's all about control, man. It's all about control. Some of these sounds are not terrible. You just have to know how to control them. I'm just going to throw a lot of reverb on here. Raise the decay and turn up the size and change the diffusion to four walls. Then I'm just going to clone the sound again. Look at me. Mr. FL Studio Professional. It's like I'm back again. Wow, amazing. Now let's see what else I can use. Maybe a short synth. Uh, okay, that is fine. I'll just modify the sound again. Come here to miscellaneous polyphony one mono porta. So that is slides slides around like that and then I'm gonna try and make a nice a nice melody with this. That sounds sick. Copy that over. Awesome. Add that back in. Copy that over again. Come into the filter and create an automation clip for the filter so that it changes over time. And also automate the chase sound to maybe move in the opposite direction. Make the sound also change, maybe have a change right here in the middle. And let's also mess around with the log drum. Let's change the sound as well over here at the end. Okay, not like that. Oh, that sounds sick. Now for the final touch, we're just going to add some crash effects here and there. That, that one is fun. I, I don't know what it is, but I like to add effects right here in the in the playlist section where I can see the clip. That's dope. Now let me duplicate that and drag these over and put them over here. I hope that's gonna work. And I'm gonna add another another crash only to turn it into a reverse crash for this side. 
I'm going to drop the volume down. Oh, the log drum is not stopping. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'll just I'll just move these over like that. Oh my word, that one is moving up again. Okay, let's undo that. Move this back. Okay, there we go. <laughs> And there you have it. There's some nostalgic sounds for you right here. Easy. You know, uh, I was actually nervous that I'm going to really suck at FL Studio 9, but you know, if you have it, you have it. And these are the type of things that I'm trying to teach you that if you learn the techniques, no matter what software you're using, no matter what version you get your hands on, no matter which samples or what plugin, you can always make a banger. So I hope you've, you know, you find this uh, very helpful and interesting. Let me know which one is your all-time favorite version of FL Studio. Um, I think mine is maybe 12. 12 and 11, yeah, those those were the bits. A lot of great music was made on those versions. Some people are still using those, but you let me know down in the comments which one is your all-time favorite and, you know, why it's your all-time favorite as well. But um, I'm going to drop this FLP down below in the description where you can download it so you can check it out. It's going to work with all versions of FL Studio because this is an older one, so it will be compatible with everything from 9 upwards. So you can uh, download it and then you can check it out and play around with it if you want to finish with it or change it or whatever. That's all up to you guys. But thank you so much for watching and chilling with me today. I'm going to check you guys out in my next video. Enjoy your day. I'm X and I'm out. Peace.